Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Thanks for joining me again today. Back with another design team project for Witchcraft Do You Do. Um, two kits that I'm working with today. Uh, correspondence Collection, set one. Beautiful kit. So, and you can see where I've done my standard and printed things out in different sizes depending on what I'm doing with them. So, hang on, I'll get past the postcards. That one is just printed on copy paper. That one is just printed on copy paper. That is printed on the presentation paper. Remember I was saying how much of a difference you get with the copy paper to the presentation paper. So it depends on what I'm doing with them. Will depend on what I'm actually copying them onto. So it has envelopes which we're using again today it has wonderful labels blank labels as well which is why this one came about because I was doing something with some stuff of theirs and I'll show you that in a minute and I wanted a blank label so these were the kits that I found with a couple of blank labels it is just a beautiful kit look at it the colors are divine so that is correspondence set one. They also have a correspondence set two. So hang on, I'll put them back so I don't lose which ones they are because then they'll go into my folders. You've seen how I put them in my folders. So I've, I've only just printed these out and started working with them. So they're just clipped together at the moment. The other one I'm using is assorted tickets and labels set one. Yeah, I know, it's me, isn't it? It's just like it was made just for me. So again, small size, large size, but again, it's just so me. So we've got a little bit of flowers going on, large and small. Look at these labels, look at these. It's one of these great add-on kits again, that just goes with everything. So I've printed it small there, in the standard full size sheet there. These ones, I'll show you the big sheet, is this. How awesome is that? Tickets, or bus tickets, these ones are, I think. Normal little tickets in the small and in the large. Again, I found a blank label. That's how I found this one. More tags and guest checks. And you'll see some of them I have tea stained the back of in case I want to use them as um, things in pockets and stuff like that instead of actually attached to a page. So I'll go through and I will tea stain them so that they're right to go and I don't have to cover the backs. Look at these. So yes, you can see all these ones have been tea stained. Okay, what we're going to do today is some altered playing cards, which you would have read in the title. Mm, do it, Kylie. Um, this started because the other day, I've been to the op shop, as you do, and bought some cards. So, hang on a moment, I'll move some of my stuff from here. All right, bought a pack of cards, slightly larger than normal size. So these ones measure uh, not quite three and a half or eight and a half centimeters by not quite five inches or 12 and a half centimeters. And I was playing with them, I was pulled them out of the car and I thought, I'm gonna play with those before I put them away, because otherwise they get put away and I'll never remember them. Do you all do that too? So I started playing with them, and a couple of days before, I'd had some new stamps that I'd purchased through Witchcraft Do You Do, with some of her new stamps that had come through. Love woodware stamps, which you can see I haven't even played with yet. I know, I know. And when you get an order, that's not a digital, an actual in the flesh order from Witchcraft Do You Do, whether it's their vintage papers, their laces, the mother loads boxes, um, they've got stamps, they've got, oh look, it, there's a plethora of things in there. When you get those, they come wrapped in this beautiful tissue paper. Isn't this gorgeous? Now I've been on the site and had a look you can purchase this tissue paper if you want more of it. And it's decoupage tissue sheets, 
It's called grunge tissue. You can either get it in a pack of three or a pack of 12 of that design. Except that one there. I've got so many little notes sitting in front of me, it's not funny. So I was playing with this because normally I'll, and I've been getting orders from Witchcraft Do You Do for, oh, three or four years now. Um, and normally I get this tissue paper and I pop it in with my other tissue paper. I've used it to cover, um, to collage the cover of books and things like that. But this time I wanted to do something different. So I played around with my cards because I was just using what's on my desk. Now, but I've also been selling. Right, so what we're going to do, this piece of tissue paper and his card. It is so easy to do this, so easy. Um, you will find Shinuki Art, I think her name is, um, she does a lot of altered playing cards, and I've got to admit, I haven't really played with the altered playing cards that much. But it was just one of those days, and so all we're going to do is just stick that straight on there. Now, some cards are really shiny. Depending on what you want to pop on them, you may need to give them a light sand first. But I found with these, I didn't need to. So I've got a new glue book, look at that. And a new stick of glue, yay. So I'm just using my glue stick and I'm going to cover the entire, now I want this side to show through. Okay, so I'm gonna cover that, make sure I get my edges. Move that to the side. And I want round about there. So I'm just going to place it the other way around because this is going to be a little bit too big anyway for what I want to do with it. So just sitting that on. Now, I have also found, you know, you've seen me before, I get my scraper and I scrape. Don't do that with tissue paper, okay, because it'll end up ripping. So just use a soft, soft cloth. These are just old face washes, cheap face washes, and just work your way through. You may still get a few wrinkles, and in all honesty, I quite like a few wrinkles, but, you know, just keep working down where your wrinkles are if you don't want any wrinkles in it. And it's far better off doing it with a soft cloth, or just a cloth. It doesn't have to be soft. This is certainly not soft. This is dead, this cloth. Um, but don't do it with your scraper. All right, go right into your edges. And then you can trim around that. So I just, so I want my bigger scissors. I like my big scissors for doing these. So we're just going to trim, spit off. In a true and just world, you would wait for that to dry completely. But this is video, so we won't. All right. Because it is a little bit sticky. You've got to get your scissors just a little bit sticky as well. All right. Now at this stage I haven't trimmed around my edges. Um, main reason being is that with that correspondence set with the post cards, post cards, yes. Um, and I've got one just here. Here it is. Here's one I prepared earlier. All right. So they're either going to be too large, too small, etc. So with the big cards, you'll see it fits on, but it just takes an edge off. So I'm doing that. With your smaller cards, as in your stand, this is a standard size playing card. That's why I printed them tootle page and it fit almost beautifully. I had to trim the postcard down a little section. But so if you've only got standard size cards, you'll still be able to do this. So now I'm just going to glue this one and sit it on to that. Um, that's going to be the top. So that's going to be where I'm going. Okay. Right, same thing, just with your glue stick. the way around make sure you get your edges all right 
Look at that. I'm remembering to do my glue stick up. A big chunk of glue there. We'll just get rid of that. And we're going that way with our postcard at the top. And we're going to just even it up as much or as little as you can. All right, round about that. Because this is paper, I can now use my scraper just to make sure that the whole thing is down. Right, trim around that one as well. So this one will end up not in that um, card shape, you know, that has the slightly rounded edges because we've popped the postcard on and the postcard's slightly smaller, even more smaller now because they don't cut straight. I do have very sticky hands though. Get rid of some of that. And down there. Now, you'll know me, I very rarely ever sew. Um, I've had a sewing session this week. Everything I've touched, I've sewn. So, you know, you see a lot of sewing stuff, you don't have to sew but you can sew. And I blame a very good friend of mine, Kathy. She sews everything and it always looks awesome and all the rest. So you can find her on Instagram at Crafty Chick Kathy. Now they're underscored. Okay, so that's not just your dash between, it's the under one. Look her up on Instagram. She has beautiful work and it is always sewn. Everything she does is sewn. And I keep looking at her work and we talk and I keep thinking, oh, it's so beautiful. And I never do it. So this week, I cleared the space around my sewing machine because my sewing machine sits on the desk just beside me. But I usually can't get to it. And um, I actually started sewing. So all I'm doing now is just getting rid of the white edges. Okay, so just a little bit around your edges. It's at this point that I took them over and sewed them. So now what we'll do is we'll pull out the pre-sewn ones. See, look, I've been sewing everything. I even had some old um, page protectors sitting on the desk. So I started sewing those to keep these in. Right, I'll sit that away. So we've got this one, this one, this one, that one's not sewn yet because I'm still debating about that. Doesn't that tissue paper look beautiful over the cards? So each, these ones are the wrong ones. Hang on a moment. These ones were when I first started doing it and I was just backing them and sewing them. I then found the postcards. Here we go. Today's lot. There should be one more. Oh, that's because I've done it. And these ones all have the postcard on them, which I think finishes them off even better. I love this. And as I said, I was looking for blank labels when I came across the one with all the postcards in it. So that's your large size. Here, put you over there. Here, so I've been doing a couple of these. Are you small standard size? Now these have all got their little postcard on them. So really, and they're, that's what I mean, just standard size. Okay, there's the postcards ready to go. There's the cards. Some of these, and they're all op shop ones. So some of these ones have been from a casino and then they're marked. Somebody told me when they're finished at a casino. Ah. So they're just standard size cards. So we've got these. These will end up being sets of, there's the other one, Sets of four each. And here's one I've done. Now, and I'm still just using those two kits. So let's do some of the little ones. Let's go that way. That way? That way. Which way does a club go? That way. Spade. You can tell I play cards a lot. So, out of those kits, with all the little bits and pieces, I sat here last night and I cut a pile out just to make it a little bit easier for myself. So no cutting. And I've got this awesome array of all these little add-ons. Look at them. 
there's enough in here to do so much and these are just from one sheet each whether it's half a sheet or one of the full sheets so we're just going to decorate these and then we're going to decorate our envelope and make it a full loaded envelope so what i want i want a little bit of cheesecloth because this is me so i've got my coffee dyed and my tea dyed all right and i'm going to use some stamps as well now the stamps that i'm going to use oh, and i'll show you on the one that was finished see this so this is from this is this stamp now this stamp is a darkroom door stamp called lots of labels witchcraft do you do sells a lot of the darkroom door stamps as well so again you purchase your stamps you'll get them in the tissue paper win-win so i'm using this one and i'm using and i've lost it there we go my round from lots of labels lots of labels has lots of labels from smaller ones large ones etc um i've just bought these ones over so i didn't have too much on my desk and i'm also going to use the tim holtz foam stamps now again you'll find these ones in witchcraft you do you can purchase the up one or the lower case or you can get them as a set so i've used the four and the eight out of this one now i've got one sitting over here where i was playing with different inks and that's the circle with the ampersand from the uppercase and this is normal plain white tissue paper that i have coffee dyed you need to be very careful when you're doing it because it does tend to fall apart when it's wet but i love it because it gives you so i've now got the card i've got the witchcraft you do grunge tissue and then i've got this plain coffee dyed tissue that allows the other one to show through again so it gives me those multi layers so they're the stamps that i'm going to be using um i was going to use the witchcraft do you do number stamps that's why i wanted the blank label whether we actually use that one or not i'm not quite certain now because my mind just went in a tangent as it does so let's have a look at how we can decorate this and we're going to pull all these ones out so for my smaller ones now some of these i have pre um inked some of them i haven't it's just a matter of playing around with your different bits and pieces in here there's so many bits and i loved these little ones aren't these great such a wonderful little thing just for add-ons and for things like these They just, sorry, I know, I went quiet. And it's just a matter of playing around with how you like things to sit. I want, now, when I'm inking these, and all I'm inking them for is to get rid of, can you see the white edge on that? It's just to get rid of my wonky cutting. So I'm literally just going on the white edge. I'm not distressing inside it. I'm just, and I've done that one, um, I'm just going around that white edge just to get rid of the white because this is a grungier color well that's what I'm telling myself anyway so we could put in some bright color in there as well oh and I have to have a number have to have a number so let's have a look so I've just got out a few things here I'm not going to use those ones I still want to see a lot of my bits that are in here. So if I do that, I'm still seeing the club. I'm going to go actually over that way. So I'm just playing. I like my layers to go in and out.
So I'm happier with that. I'd still like something in here, be that a bit of lace, be that a bit of cheesecloth. Maybe because this is so light, I go with the lighter cheesecloth. Not that piece. All right, while I'm sticking all this down, guys, I'd like to have a talk, if you don't mind. I'm in a bit of a conundrum. I have been doing this for quite a few years now, and I've been playing with paper crafts for even longer. And I have got a very large collection of all my bits that I do. Okay, lots and lots and lots. So I'm in two minds. So just while I'm sticking down, have a think for me, if you wouldn't mind. I don't, I've got two options as far as I can see. One, I'm just going to bring that book over and I'll ink off camera ink. No, I won't. I'll um, glue off camera so you don't see that. One, I could start an Etsy store and see if I can move some of these things along. Yes, my journals go to market, um, but things like these that are standalone things are not really market products. They're more for the rest of the journal community, stuff like that. So do I start an Etsy store would they sell? I'm not quite certain. This is my, you know, my conundrum, I suppose. Or my other option is, because let's face it, I've got so much spare time. Um, do I start a Patreon channel where I can give these away to people that sign up? I'm not quite certain. I've been tossing this idea around for a little while. I've been researching both, and I'm not quite certain what to do. So I think the best option for me is to ask the people that watch me that hopefully enjoy my products, and that one I'm just going to stick under, actually, um, and can, I know this is, I'm very disjointed, aren't I? Um that can help me make this decision. I'm truly, I have no idea what way should I go. Can somebody help me, please? Please let me know, give me a comment, or just tell me to shut up and just keep keep creating. I'm more than happy with that answer as well. Um, but yeah, if I could get some guidance on this, I'd be very happy. Please, please, please. So that's my little rant. Um, if it's rant, but yeah, I just need some help. Right, so you can see me, I've just been sticking this down. This one I'm going to use normal glue because I've got all that cheesecloth underneath. So I'm just looking for my, that's my computer behind me. Um, I think it's on its way out. Oh my word. And it keeps turning itself off, turning itself back on. And doesn't matter whether it's been turned off or whatever, it just keeps doing this. And I'm a bit concerned because I'm going to lose all my digitals and all my photos and all the rest. And yes, I know I should put them onto a hard drive. But I want to go there, don't I? Um, but we're off on the road again this week. And that's not going to happen before we go. I want to just rough that. So, like, how easy are that? How easy is that? That was bad English, Kylie. We've got a wonderful little postcard. So you've got a journaling spot. You've used some of your cards. You've used some of your bits and pieces. And you've used this gorgeous tissue paper. They do not take long at all. We're going to do a few of these. And then we're going to make the envelope that these go into. So we'll just pull out another one of those ones. And we might start, I'm liking this side because I like the sevens and that that is in there. So let's just have a look. Can you see my little dish there? No, there it is. There it is. Sorry, I had it off to the side, didn't I? So just when you're layering, just 
or when you're placing everything on, just give them different layers so they get that depth and that angle and all the rest. You'll find that you really can't go wrong. I don't want that bright, bright colour. <laughs> Thoughts? That's probably appropriate for today, isn't it? I need your thoughts. Right. Uh, again, from all these from these two kits, I will write down below which ones they are. They've both already been done. Go down there. You know what I would like on? Oh, I can't get to it. I've got some um, sewn. I know, but that was done years ago. Um, just book page that's all linked up and then pleated. They would look very nice down the side of that as well. I wonder if I can get to them. No, I can't reach them. I can't reach them. I can't reach them. No, and they're on the bottom. I know where they are, which is just really scary. I want something else in that. I want something else that's not necessarily that. So, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh. These are the button packs at Witchcraft You Do. You know how I love all my buttons. Well, I've also got one of their packs. So, let me just... If I put them in there, I won't lose them, will I? What I want is a little small one. Not in silver. One of these... Now, that's a nice colour. So, oh, hang on. I've got actual flat ones in there as well. I was going to put a, what's the name on there? But I've got some of these. There you go. How easy was that? So, their button packs have not only the shanked ones. This is a shank that you can slide on to. You can clip those off. You can clip those off. I tend to do it outside in case I take someone's eye out. Um but you do have flat buttons in there as well. So, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Thinking I want a little bit of thread. So, I might go the black that's the same as that. So, if I just grab that and I'll reach over to the sewing machine and pull some thread out. All right. But I want it double done. Double done. I'm doing really well. It's Sunday. I know this should be out in a couple of hours. Yeah, right. Um, it's the middle of a long weekend. <laughs> I've just been down to work. <laughs> so, let's see if I can get that through there. One side. All right. So, this has been doubled up a couple of times so that I can give myself bow or not let's have a look i'll do it in a knot first and we'll just have a look at what the knot looks like or whether i've even done enough here to give me a bow so can you hear my computer go having hissy fits let's see if i can do a bow with that tiny bit that i've got there probably not <laughs> and gluey hands. Oh, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, we'll start to spread these out. I'm thinking just so that they go. If I'd done it longer, yes, I could have done a bow and I would have been quite happy with the bow. But, yep, I'm going to do that. So this one goes down first. Take that just over there again. You don't need to see me rubbing, running glue over it. Like that. 
I've got so much glue on my fingers. Hang on. There's got to be. There has got to be. There's not. I had some baby wipes here the other day. I moved them. I've been cleaning. You should never clean, Kylie. Oh, find an unglued spot. Really straight. And that one. Move the scissors, or otherwise I'm going to glue the scissors as well. Straighten that up. And that one. I'm going to actually use my fabric glue because it's a little bit stronger. Just before I do that, I'm just going to have a look and see if I want more thread in there. No, I think I'm happy with that. I could fit more through there though. Let's have a look. All right. Let's just put a little bit more in there. Since I can't do my bow, we're just going to pop a little bit more in there. Like so. What I need is my little threader. Oh, that was my chair. All right, that'll make it a little bit easier. And through the other side. It's actually a ribbon threader. Um, I purchased it from my local um, paper craft store, Create on Almond, but I don't know where else to get them. I don't know if she still has them or not. They are brilliant for things like this. They work a treat, but my word, you can lose them. All right, that's giving me a better, but a lot of fluffiness, I suppose, would be the word. So I'm just going to tie that into another knot. And we'll trim that one up. I will stick it on and then I can play with all of those, can't I, once that's dry. Yeah, see, I'm happier with that. And then I can fluff all those out, trim it up once it's dry. So, cumin. Might help if I put it on properly. Nope, it's not going to come out. When have we ever not had fabric glue come out? Not come out. I tell you. Ah, oh, here it comes. Alright. Maybe I'm getting low. So much trouble with fabric glue. Alright, so now I'm going to try and use those. That'll sit in there like that. That'll push down, and then I'm going to just use my tweezers. Now you can trim those to any length that you like. But how's that one? I like that. Right, so we've got two of our little altered playing cards done. But what we want to do with these, put some lid on some glues again. What we want to do with these is do an envelope for them. So these are the envelopes. Again, I have tea dyed the other side and I have cut around it and inked around it. How easy are they? Now, I have done them in the presentation paper to make them a little bit 
um, more sturdy, I suppose, but it does add bulk, a little bit of bulk, to your journal again. So all these need is a little bit of glue down here. And I'm actually going to trim that bit just a little bit further because you can see that it's, they come with the angles on them, but just watch that it doesn't still fold. If it folds a little bit, just trim them a little bit further. You're not going to see any of that end. And that'll just go straight up like that. So there's that one. We'll glue that one together. And this, of course, has been sitting here all this time now without the lid on it. Camera. That'll teach me. That'll teach me. Right. Here it comes. And that's what we wanted. We want to go as close as we can to this edge. Not quite too close to this edge, because if your glue squeezes out when you actually stick it down, it'll come onto this bit and you'll end up with... I want to do both sides. Um, you'll end up with it being glued further in. So as close as you can up this end. If it comes out, then you can always wipe that bit off. But you don't want to go too close to that side. But still catch enough of it that it's not going to catch your products that you're going to be popping in the envelope. All right, folding that down. Straightening it up as you go. How hard are they? So that one's all stuck down. This is your other one, but I want to show you first. So this is what we've got. I find the easiest way to do this, if you don't have a scoreboard, you don't need a scoreboard, sit your ruler so that it matches here and to here, just a little bit further in, and just give that a little bit of a lift. Do the same on the other side. Just a little bit further in and give that a lift. Same along this one. Follow this line where it finishes here and here. And just a tiny little fraction in from it. Give it a little bit of a lift. And then across the top. So again, from here to here. And a little bit of a lift. Now all you need to do is use your scraper or a bone folder. If you've got a bone folder, I think a lot of people call them something else these days. I don't know. Burnishing tool, I think they call them. I don't know. They've always been a bone folder to me back in the days from card making and all the rest. So sorry if they're called something else these days. This one's going to go up. That's now that you can sit there and work out have I folded correctly? And no, I haven't. Look at that. There you go. That's a better match. Okay. And then the same with your top. They are so easy. Right. So my little ones, I want to work out which one I want. I think I like that one. I think I like that one. I like the other one as well, but we'll use him for something else. All right. Straight down. Again, as close as you can to the edge. Not quite so close to the edge on the inside. Okay. And straight up the centre. So, these would be beautiful inside a front cover of a journal. A little packet of bits. So you look, here we got a couple. Look at that. They fit them beautifully. So, here's our large one. I had a large one done. We'll grab a couple that are not done yet. Look at that. Don't they fit them superbly? Isn't that just a perfect little packet? 
Okay, so let's decorate these guys. I'd like a label on there. Now, I didn't cut the labels out, so I want, and it was in, was it my labels? Those, look at that. So I want the larger ones because they're going on an envelope. Oh, how about I take the paper clip off? Taking that with me. So any of these would work. That's not a problem at all. And I can just use my scissors for that. We'll see how. I'll just cut three out. We'll see how straight I am. What do you reckon? So these ones are on presentation paper, but I haven't um, tea dyed the back because I know that for me, these would be stuck onto something. They're not going to be tucked in as such. So you can see from my cutting why I like to ink on the white pit bits because I have so many white bits with my cutting, especially if I'm using scissors. So let's have a look at the time. Oh, 40. Beautiful. Right. Got one in the bin. So I've got a selection of three there. That will go on to that one. Let's have a look. Do I like the darker ones? So it's just giving me an option of colours. Definitely the darker ones. I'm liking that one. It doesn't have to be set up as an actual envelope, but I like to have a little bit. So I'm still going to pop some other bits and pieces on there. So I want this. I'm not just going to put a stamp. I'm going to put some other things on there as well. Sorry, I just hit the microphone, didn't I? Right, so let's have a look at some number stamps in amongst here. Numbers, letters, things like that. That's not my letters, my numbers. All right, the numbers are on the lowercase ones. Now, if you ever have problems with stamping, try the foam stamps. They are a fail-safe way to actually, and I just want something really light in there. So maybe if I use, sorry, I'm talking to myself as I go. I'm just gonna use the tree branch, which is about this color. So, So they've got a pre-sticky here and they're just foam on that side. They're just so easy to use, the foam stamps. So. Now you can take it to that. You're far better off to take it that way. That way you'll get an even coverage. You don't need to push down too much either. Rock it a little bit to make sure you get a full coverage. And there they are. But it, this colour will only show it lightly. So I want another little bit down there. Let's go a slightly darker colour. What about we go sepia? And we use a different... I'm just going to pat that because you'll get a couple of good stampings from one one foam one. Let's go a five. Let's go a five. Right, so that sepia is just a little bit darker. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm actually going to use some of this underneath that but I'm not going to glue all of it down so this is just normal tissue paper now what I find for normal tissue paper I want something to go under that about that size and I want it like I can take it smaller 
So this is just a straight water brush. But what it allows for is for it just to tear. So you can design, you can draw any shape that you want when using your tissue paper and you get that nice edge. I like that. I'm going to put a little bit of an edge in a darker edge, just on those edges. I might need to actually put some more ink on that, just to highlight that out. And I don't think I'm going to stick the whole thing down. I want a little bit rough, I suppose. So, That's going to go on there like that. I'm going to just glue like that. Okay. Just don't want right near the edge. Just want a section. All right, let's see how that goes. So I can still see my design underneath. Remember, use your soft cloth to press it out. Happy with that. Look at that. See, I like, if you don't like that, that's fine. You can glue the whole thing in. You don't have to just glue that bit. You can glue the whole thing in. I'm just going to try and find a non-glued part in this book. All right. Gotta find the tweezers. Now, but I do have them, uh, sort of numbers, dates. Let's just have a look at my numbers. Hang on a moment. Oh, I'm trying to stretch in here. Right. So these are my Witchcraft Do You Do stamps. I do also have my Tim Holtz ones in here. So these are Witchcraft Do You Do. Um, so the clear ones, not that they're that clear anymore because I've used them so much. Uh, witchcraft do you do? I also have some of the ones that they sell, which are the Creative Expressions clear stamp set um, with the dates and numbers in there. So I'm thinking I want some other ones. And they've got some lovely big numbers. Um, I like that. I like that. I think these might have been the first things that I ever bought from Witchcraft Do. Yeah, Icon. So I'm just using a collection of browns here and a collection of different types of ink. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I like all my numbers. So. And... Back. I want a big long one. You're going to fit that one. You will if I turn you around. I'm going to put you just there. So let's go for a different colour brown because we're just having fun with all our different browns. Let's go pine cone. Nice dark brown. So this stamp set um, is from memory called documented I think I don't have my little um, piece of paper that it comes with anymore there cool um, so I'm fairly certain from memory it's still in their website but yeah from memory I think it's called documented you'll find it on there anyway so here's our little envelope ready to tuck in Put that one back so I know where it was. And you can see I don't clear my stamps. Sorry, guys. Um, used to when I first started stamping, what, mid-90s. Um, but 
really aesthetically pleasing. Yes, makes no difference to how they work. So, how's that? Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? So, what did I do with my big one? We could do, have we got time for a bit? Oh, we might have a little bit of time for a big one. Look at that. Let's have a look and see what else is in here that we could use. Let's go to, let's go to our label one again. I love, 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 love. Gosh, I've got a mess. So these are all these little ones that I had in my container beside me. And these are all the the real versions of them, as in the full size, print them out, one to a page type versions. So, and that's two to a page, you know, one, two. So you've got so many options that whether you're working in small scale, large scale, it's all still there. Same with those ones, full half toodle page. Let's have a look what else is in here. I've got that one I've cut out. They're all cut out at that size. I didn't do them any smaller because these little words would have just been too much for my eyes. Now, I do have those. They might work a treat. Let's have a look at those. I like these. Oh, got such a mess here. So one of these would look very nice on here, wouldn't they? That's a pretty good colour. Let's just have a look. Ooh, what a mess, Kylie. Ooh, what a mess. I do also have, I don't really want to introduce another kit, but I've got their butterfly kit. Um, which is really handy because butterflies are one of those things that you can just about pop on anything. So I could pull that out. Let's get rid of that white again as per normal. Look at that. So just uh, butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Let's have a look. See, and these are my containers that they'll go into later. Groat and shh. Butterflies. Here we go. The back. So, this is a huge kit. There are so many butterflies, but I've only printed out a few. But look at the sizes and the colours and all the rest. That's a pretty good size. They're my little ones. Whoop. Oh, that's all right. The lid's on. It's okay. I haven't printed out the red in those ones. So let's just have a look at that. Again, these are printed out in um, presentation paper to give it that real zing of colour. I do like those blues though. Oh, what have I got there? Right. So let's very quickly I'll go that yellow. Won't take me long, I promise. And I'll very quickly, and I know it's such a pain when we're just sitting here cutting out and you're just listening to me waffle again. I like waffling. I hope you're all well. I never ask that, do I? That's remiss of me, I think. And I probably should. I should ask that at the start, shouldn't I? Before I start talking to you all and telling you what to do, etc. I should just check that everybody is well. So I'm sorry. Right. Now, I will have this one out today which is Sunday in a couple of hours hopefully and then I'm hoping tomorrow for the last day of the long weekend before I've got to go down to work and then before I'm on the road to do another one that'll be scheduled for Thursday if one doesn't come up on Thursday you know I ran out of time as per normal I've got two or three projects sitting on my desk um, 
so we can do one of those or you never know probably should go back to that altered book shouldn't I I might have to do another page for that one for the Thursday what do you reckon see I really like butterflies I think they just they're friendly they're happy oh hang on um, and they work and the smaller they are the harder they are to cut out they truly are I've really got to concentrate move my tongue in the right spot cross my eyes depends on what glasses I've got on Uh, I want both of those, so. All this fussy cutting I've been doing in the truck and I haven't done any butterflies. I may have to take these with me this week. And that deep red. So yes, so if you're looking for butterflies, go and have it. And it's actually called Butterflies Collection, set four this one is. Um, just a plethora of butterflies they're all round about the same shape but you've got different sizes and colors in them all and it's a huge kit and you'll never be stuck for a butterfly again i know i said i wasn't going to introduce another kit but i just this is one of those kits that it's like all my all the stuff i get i don't know i just love them all too much right that one and that one Thank you out like that and let's see if we can get rid of some of that white because that was a horrendous job of cutting out Kylie Put a bit in there all right that one and that one Where am I going I've got three minutes right we can get these stuck down in three minutes I want a little bit of shape in that one and I want him to sit on a little bit of that so I need I need I need I need some double-sided tape just the thin one to go down there which will hold my cheesecloth on like so oh that was lucky all uh, right I haven't stuck that down yet have I good And we'll go that one again. I'll find a little piece of something to wipe that with. Right. Now I'm caught up in it all. I'm just going to... I'll get all those threads off that later on once it's all dried but I'll just sit you there like that sit you in there and those ones and I want those little words those little words I put in here because I cut them out oh there we go found them I don't have butterflies in there. But field notes would work, wouldn't it? Get rid of 
rid of that. And then 63, that's a date. That's a date. I don't want two dates. I'll just glue those ones. I don't know they're not going to move. sticky bits and have a very large mess again I want I want I want I want right, I'm gonna stick you down move those I know I'm away from the camera but that's fine you've all seen everybody glue before there. I don't, I'm still debating about that one, but I definitely want that one on it. Oh, well, you'll actually work there, won't you? I want to that on an angle. How cute's that? Oh, I like that. I was going to use those. Um, I really like that. Am I adding something now just for the sake of adding something? Ah, there we go. Doesn't matter. I found a word and answered my own question. All right. Yes. So, and I just wanted something little down on that side. I knew I'd, I knew I wanted something. It was just a matter of finding it. Right, so there's our little envelope to tuck our big ones in. Like so. How's that? All right, thank you all very much for coming along with me today. Thank you for sticking around with me. There's our two little envelopes done two completely different ways. Put that rubbish away, put that rubbish away. And inside we have some wonderful little altered cards. There will be more. <laughs> I will sit down now and finish those ones up. Look at that, those ones need doing. So, are we happy with those? How easy are they? Pull out your packs of cards. Pull out your tissue paper you get you get with your order. Or as I said before, you can order it yourself through their website and you can get packs of this beautiful, beautiful tissue paper. Um, I kid you not, it is awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.